Hello, yes, it's me, Man Manga Boy, with another Man Manga haul. I was not sure uh, that I would have this haul because it didn't get shipped except for like a day <laughs> after. Maybe even a day before, actually. I think a day before I uploaded my last little video. So I was like, wow. Thank goodness for that. So let's dive into it because Man Manga Boy doesn't got a lot of Man Manga content these days besides this and reading logs because he is lazy. <laughs> He's got to read too much manga. That's what it really is. At the end of the day, too much manga to make content. Let's open it up. This is an interesting box from Right Stuff. So I think it must be like a box set or something. Yup. Oh. Okay. So we all know what this is about. I'll show you that later. But they don't usually send me kilos like this. This is just uh, illicit drugs. Don't tell my mom about this, guys, all right? I didn't want to be outed like this. Spend enough money on manga. My mom doesn't need to know I'm doing hardcore drugs, too. Okay. Let's put that over here for now. We'll open those up in a few minutes. <laughs> it's, not it's not really illicit drugs. Okay, guys, you can put that on the phone number, all right? You don't need to swap me. I get it. Let's, let's open this up. <laughs> Wow. I destroyed that box. Not too bad though, but pretty bad. <sighs> the good stuff. All right, all right. Oh, I actually like the spine of this better than I would've thought. Okay, let me go through these real quick with you guys, show you what I got in the boxes. Okay, as always, we're gonna just start by showing you what we have. We have Death Note, the all-in-one edition. Uh, this is a... <laughs> huge brick. Somehow this has all 12 volumes of Death Note in it. It honestly doesn't seem like it's big enough to have all 12 in it, believe it or not, but uh, people have read it and they can tell you that it in fact does have all 12 volumes. So I pretty much got this. I'm never going to read it uh, just to have it as a collector's item uh, because I just think it's so absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Kaguya, a common writer Kaguya. <laughs> Uh, by Dying Comics. I've heard terrible things about this translation, but I do love Super Sentai's, so I grabbed it. I also have the Kamen Rider um, Seven Seas Classic Edition as well, and it looks like we've got more um, Kamen Rider coming out as well. Zero One being shut off right there, which is cool. Uh, Die Dark Volume 5 from the same author as Doro Hidoro. Uh, very cool, kind of glossy esque cover. With the main with a character on there, Mushoko Tensei Roxy Get Serious Volume Six, a spinoff of Mushoko Tensei Volume Six. Is that really all that they're on? Wow! I was really looking forward to this one. Probably my most anticipated title of the year at this point. Demons of the Shadow Realm by Hiromu Arakawa, the same author as Full Metal Alchemist, as you might notice from how the uh, art looks from that cover. Dreaming Sun. 6 and 10 from the same author as Orange. This uh, series has a crossover with Orange as well, uh, which is a big reason why I wanted to pick it up. I, I don't think I've heard as good things as I do with Orange, uh, but still wanted to read it. Invincible Shovel, Volume 5. I'm so behind on the series because I was waiting for Volume 2 to come in. <laughs> I really got to read it. Uh, the last, suppose a kid from the last dungeon, uh, Boonies moved into a starter town, volume eight. This I think will start to, I don't know if it's going to pass the anime soon or if it has yet. It was going at like one episode of volume last time. Uh, JK Haru's a sex worker, volume five. This one, I am pretty sure we are actually almost done. In the last one, they said they were past the halfway point. Uh, Yakuza Reincarnation, volume five. Pretty big fan of this Isekai. Definitely worth checking out. Bungo Stray Dogs Volume 22. This is a great series. If you're not watching Bungo Stray Dogs, uh, you should probably read it instead. Don't want to, you know. Oshinoko. This got delayed because it got lost in the mail, and now I finally have it. Um, I don't know why I got lost in the mail, but I'm glad that I got it. This is obviously blowing up like crazy right now, so glad to have that one here. 
Yokai Watch 21, another fun, wacky adventure with Yokai Watch. Interesting how it goes to the kids' version, to the not kids' version, to just regular Yokai Watch or Viz Media. That's kind of funny. Uh, Saga Tanya the Evil Volume 18. I'm missing like the entire series of this, but it looks really cool. I watched all of the anime and the movie, really enjoyed it. Shaman King Flowers Volume 1. I'm reading Shaman King again right now. So that way I can have a fresh mind for the sequel here, which is Shaman King Flowers. Uh, Heroic Tales of Arsland, also um, the manga is by Hiromu Arakawa. Uh, it's based on a story by Yoshiki Tanaka. I've read online from Yoshiki Tanaka that Ara, um, Arakawa is not giving you know herself enough credit and that she actually writes a lot. Uh, uh, takes a lot of liberties in this and makes it a lot more interesting. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Persona uh, Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth, Volume 1. I'm missing just, I think, Volume 3 at this point. Uh, this is a pretty short video game, uh, short adaptation on a video game uh, that's a like maze-like uh, first-person dungeon crawler. Not a big fan of that genre type, so I'd have the manga. Uh, Magica Record, Puella Madoka Magica, Another Story, Volume 2. These are thin uh, by Ken Press. <laughs> Uh, Sword Art Online Phantom Bullet Volume 4, the final volume. Glad to have that finished with. Uh, Blood on the Tracks Volume 13, another series I hear nothing but good things about. Heavenly Delusion, this series also is doing pretty well from what I understand with the anime. Definitely worth checking out the anime if you guys haven't checked out the manga. The manga is great too though. Rent a Girlfriend Volume 18. I heard terrible things about this. Can't wait to read it because it's so bad. Um, <laughs> oh, the anime is by the same people who did Real Life and Fruits Basket. I did not know that. Real Life was a pretty good anime. Check that one out if you haven't yet. Um, Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. I'm getting there. <laughs> These are Omnis, so this is up to Volume 8. This is a pretty fun series about a cynical man. A cynical man in his like 30s who's still trying to get his life together. If you guys like... Uh, Depressing comedies. This is one for you. Uh, Kaiji, volume number four. Kaiji's a gambling manga. It is legendary. Definitely check it out if you like thrillers or gambling manga. Chojin X, volume two. This is the um, story that came up after uh, Tokyo Ghoul by Sway Ishida. Uh, I read the first volume. It was actually very good. I liked it a lot. Uh, I've heard mixed things about it, though, so maybe it gets worse as I go. Solus in a Cage. Oh, this is a higher quality print than mine, at least, of uh, Volume 1. Uh, I printed this before and I read it. I wanted to buy it to kind of show uh, support for the series. Um, it is really good. Definitely check out this series if you haven't seen it or heard anything about it. The series is amazing. Uh, only three volumes long, so, you know, you should, should check it out for sure. Very gory and dark. Uh, Blue Lock Volume 6, another series that's really good. Uh, I actually didn't really like it at first, but now they're starting to have some interesting powers in it, so I'm liking it more. Shangri La Frontier, I just read Volume 4. This series is so good. Uh, definitely recommend checking it out if you like VMORPG, um, anime, or manga. Really a lot of fun with some cool world building in it. Zom 100 Volume 10. This is going to finish up the uh, gambling saga where they try to get a castle. Looks like they get a castle, maybe. Hard to say. Same author as um, as Alice in Borderland. Sayonara Football Volume 16. We are getting, I think, pretty close to the end uh, from the creator of your line, April. I think there's like 18 or 20 volumes, something like that. Uh, so we are approaching the end. I'm almost caught up to this. I think I'm on Volume 13, something like that. Welcome back, Alice by Shuzuo Oshimi, uh, Volume 4. I'm not sure how long this one goes, but I, I do think that this one is almost done because I think they're only working on Blood on the Tracks right now. Tokyo Revengers, Volumes 9 through 10 by Seven Seas. Uh, apparently the series falls off. I don't really know when that happens, but so far I've been really digging it, so that's great. Boys Abyss. I don't know anything about this series other than Prof Otaku told me, you know, to buy it ASAP. Uh, when we did our video together, so I did. I pre-ordered it like right away and excited to find out why it's wrapped. Uh, probably not for good reasons. <laughs> Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Volume 5. Uh, Persona 4 Arena Volume 1. I think this just started. This series, I, I played this game. I like fighting games quite a lot. Um, you know, really <laughs> the bare bones story, to be honest with you. 
definitely was more in it for the Arc System Works um, combat. The sequel, Ultimax, is much better. Uh, definitely recommend just skipping this one and going to that. I think you can get the whole story of Persona 4 Arena in Ultimax, actually, if you wanted to buy the games. In Persona 4 Volume 5, um, just missing a few volumes of this. I think Volume 1 is, one, is the last one I'm missing. Uh, I've played through all of Golden. This is not a Golden adaptation. It only goes through Persona uh, 4 main story, which is kind of too bad, but whatever. I, I do like Maria though. She's pretty cool. Um, so we'll go through some art here. It's um, the manga now, so I'll go back through it. But yes, this manga is complete and Persona 4 Arena is ongoing. It looks like it is by um, different authors though, despite the art looking pretty similar actually. Uh, Persona 4 Arena, if you didn't know, mixes together Persona 4 and 3 cast, so that is what really drew me into it initially. Um, as well as the continuation of Persona 4, because I really liked 4 so much, uh, as well as Dancing All Night. But I don't think there's a Dancing All Night adaptation quite yet. Boys, this, I'm not going to open that because it's probably straight up porn. <laughs> Welcome back, Alice. I don't like to show too much of Shuzo Shimi works, but just so you can get an idea of the art. Zom 100, I think, is a great series that's overlooked by so many people. I hope the anime brings in a lot more uh, fans to the series. Uh, people went in expecting more of Alice in Borderland and got a comedy manga, and they were not happy, but this comedy manga is still really good. Blue Lock also has really good art. Um, this series is not overlooked. If anything, or underlooked, if anything, it's overlooked. Uh, but yeah, this series has been widely popular. The art looks so good now. Like, look at those flames. That's sick. Um, in the beginning, I, volume one I liked, volume two not so much, and then pretty much every other volume I've enjoyed. Uh, more and more, actually. Chojin X, like I said earlier, I like this one uh, quite a bit. We get the origin story of our main character and how he gets this, like, vulture mask and turns into a Chojin. Kind of reminds me of um, <laughs> Ultimate Muscle or Kinuku Man, because that's what they call the superhumans. Chojin, that's literally what it means. Super person. Uh, <laughs> Life Lessons with Eromichi Onisan. Again, this is a very, like, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, dystopian comedy <laughs> where the main character is just so depressed and depressing and he's a child show host and that's kind of the whole joke is everybody's making this child show about being happy and having a positive future are super depressed and living like the worst lives possible so it's pretty silly blood on the tracks volume 13 uh i know that in the real story yeah so this the prequel is all done they say and then the the real story begins here uh pretty sure this is still an ongoing title and is no ending in sight so that's depressing. <laughs> Persona 4 uh, Q, Shadow of the Labyrinth. Again, this is a different author than the previous two series. Uh, don't know much about the story other than Persona 3 characters and 4 characters are in it. Um, but yeah, I did not like this kind of gameplay. I have tried it before in Entry and Odyssey and it was not for me. I don't like building my own maps and I don't like... I don't know, just not... not I don't know, something about not being able to see my surroundings is just not my thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's once if you saw the game style and played it, you kind of get what I mean. Uh, Bungo Stray Dogs 22. This series is, like I was saying earlier, really cool, really funny. Definitely recommend checking it out if you've never heard of it. Uh, definitely a um, good anime. Haven't started the manga quite yet, but the anime is top tier and the manga is further than the anime at this point. Yakuza 5, uh, Yakuza Reincarnation Volume 5. This series has been great. Pretty much a Yakuza boss who's an old man reincarnated into a princess's body um, they have different skill trees and things like that and every character is aware of them we're getting involved into demons and things like that at this point which is really exciting uh it started off kind of more just world building but volume i believe it was three or four opened up the world to to demons and hell and i was like whoa <laughs> uh this series has been really good too i know it's rap but there's not usually a lot of uh, nudity in it it's more of just sexual themes um Really a subversion of the genre of isekai where it doesn't focus on anyone having a cheat skill but focusing on a woman who uh, is using prostitution to get by and survive. It seems like she's onto something though as uh, they only like slightly have hinted at the god of the world. Um, but it seems like she's kind of leading the right path and the guy who has all these cheat skills isn't. 
So we'll see how that turns out. This series is pretty good, but it is so dense every time I read it, it takes me a while to get through it all, but it looks like this one's actually not as dense, but I mean, you can see where it doesn't look like there's a lot of text bus bubbles, but there's tons of tiny text. It makes it difficult to read it, but it's still enjoyable. I would recommend it if you like um, fantasy manga or something like, uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? This series was really funny, the volume I read. Uh, <laughs> people are doubting this shovel warrior, and then he like uses his shovel beams and things like that, and they're like, I love the shovel, pray to the shovel god. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's just an absurdist manga. Sometimes absurd absurdity in manga can just be like my favorite thing in the world. I would say almost always it is. Especially when people like recognize that this is absurd and should not work, and like, why are you trying this? And then like he does it, and then it just like totally works flawlessly and even better than he might have expected. And then they go, "Oh yeah, I just thought it would be more." <laughs> and I die every time. Uh, Dreaming Sun. Uh, this series is complete as well as Orange. I'm pretty sure, anyways. And uh, I heard it wasn't quite as good as Orange, but I still wanted to check it out like I mentioned earlier. I don't know too much about it. I mean, honestly, it could just be an Orange reboot <laughs> and I would check it out. But um, anyways, Damon of the Shadow Realm. Don't know much about this one either. I kind of just read a summary of it online. I wanted to go in as blind as possible about it. Uh, just because, you know, I want to experience the series for myself, kind of like with Full Metal Alchemist, I <laughs> experienced it one volume at a time, just like most people at the time when it was coming out. So yeah, it looks very interesting. The art really is what shines it for me. Um, you know, that's just characterization and the emotion that this author can draw. Arakawa just does it so well. Very excited to read it. Uh, see it soon in my reading log, okay? <laughs> uh, Mushoko Tensei Roxy gets serious. Uh, a little bit of a more cutesy version, it looks like, of uh, Mushoko Tensei. I don't know if they go as intense as the other volumes and other series does, the main series anyways, but definitely looks like one that you would get if you're a big fan of this isekai, which a lot of people seem to be. This series is kind of weird to read, much like uh, Dor Hidoro. It can be a little bit difficult to understand what's going on, but I believe that's intentional. There are uh, color pages as well throughout the book, um, but I really hope this gets an anime. I think it'd be easier to digest it that way, but Dora Hidora got an anime and it was really good and then it just didn't continue on, which is just wrong, just so wrong. But it's certainly, you could follow this pretty easily, you know, honestly, there's, once they make things complicated on purpose, uh, they kind of review things and then you can kind of understand what's going on. Another thing that can be somewhat confusing is there's a bit of jumping between, I think they're jumping anyways, between time periods when the main character is a child versus when he's an adult. Just to give context on who characters are and things like that. So it is necessary, but it, it can be kind of abrupt. Uh, Kamen Rider Kuga, Volume 3. Again, the series has had a bad history of the translation through Titan Comics. I heard that they're going to go through it again and try to redo the translation. But I already have the first few volumes, so that's messed up, man. Just give me a refund. I'll take uh, the uh, new ones for free. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Tokyo Avengers 9 and 10. Uh, we're getting into Season 2 at this point. Uh, I'm certain Season 2 of the anime is further than where this is. Uh, but this series has been pretty good so far to me. Um, like I mentioned, people have complained about the later arc um, for sure, but uh, we'll see how bad it could possibly get. <laughs> Sayonara Football Volume 16. This series is really just pure soccer and how women can... <laughs> what do they say in Red Letter Media? Girls get it done. <laughs> uh, it's really just focused on trying to make women soccer and women being more, uh, what's the word for it, seen as... Real soccer players being just as good as boys. The main character really wants to continue playing soccer on a boys team, but she gets kicked off because, of course, she's a girl and that would be against the rules. Um, and so she's like, we'll put women's soccer back in the limelight. And so that's the main goal is to show that women's soccer players are just as good as boys, if not better. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun so far. I do like it a lot. I don't like soccer, though, so it can be a little confusing to me, but I still enjoy reading it. It's like sports manga can only... You can only have a sports manga that's so bad, and I would pretty much read it at every point. It would have to be terrible for me to not want to read a sports manga, I feel like, at this point. But uh, I, don't think, I don't think I've ever read a sports manga I don't enjoy. Um, not, not that I can think of, anyways. I'm sure there are out there where I haven't read it or even bothered to, but none that come to mind. Shangri-La Frontier Volume 5. This is a series about this guy who plays really bad virtual reality games. Or virtual, yeah, VR games, and then plays one of the best ones ever, and it's really cool because we get to see how there's all these unique quests, um, these sick boss fights, and wow, this 
whole volume, I think, is a boss fight. So the last volume ended off on a boss fight, um, and it got to the final stage, and I was just flipping through the third, like, half of it, and it looks like they're still fighting the same boss. That's awesome. The boss has been really cool so far. Um, Soulless in a Cage, the series is about this uh, brother and sister who get separated from each other following the sister. Uh, as they escape the prison, she tries to go back in because she drops her brother as she's leaving and has to go back and rescue him. The series was really a good read. I read it all through a self-printed volume that I made, um, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, and it's quite a bit violent. The main character has to fight against people in the prison so she can find her brother. There's, of course, rapists, murderers, killers, everything that you'd find in a prison, um, you know, of course, is in here that she has to defend herself with. Um, and people are born in here and just stuck in the prison the whole time, dreaming to get out but never will. Really a lot of fun. Um, well, maybe not fun, but it's an enjoyable story to say the least. Kaiji, Volume 4, the series I feel like has been, you know, <laughs> coming out forever. Uh, again, a very big, what's the word for it, drama, um, thriller kind of a series. Main character is in this gambling ring trying to get out of all of his debt, uh, so he's gambling with his life. Uh, this author has been known to be one of the most influential authors around. So definitely, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. There's a anime, which is phenomenal as well. Rent a Girlfriend Volume 18. Like I mentioned earlier, this series started off pretty good, apparently, and just dropped to absolute shit. I would really like to know why or how that happened, because, I mean, you'd have to mess up pretty bad. And so apparently they do. <laughs> and so that's great. <laughs> I love it. That's that's the stuff I like to hear. Uh, Heavenly Delusion Volume 5. I don't know how close we're going to get to fight, figuring out what's going on in Paradise, but it looks like there's a little baby here, and that is exciting to see because maybe we are getting close to the school. Where we left off, I thought that they were going to be very near the school as well, uh, so hopefully they are. Um, the finale of, of Phantom Bullet, I'm assuming this is going to be pretty accurate to the anime. Uh, I've heard that this um, manga, the manga adaptations are kind of hit and miss with Sword Art Online because some of them are finished, some of them are not. They're all by different authors as well, so that makes it also more difficult. There's a lot of varying quality because of that, which is a pain in the butt. Um, so if you are interested in Sword Art, I would stick to either the light novels or, of course, the anime. The manga is not the place to do it unless you're just a big fan of Sword Art or kind of want to revisit it. That's the main reason why I wanted to grab them all. Uh, Magica Record, Volume 2, uh, another story. I don't know much about Puella, Puella Madoka, but I do know that they go out of print like immediately. So I do like to buy them as fast as they come out. So that way I don't get stuck in a situation like I am with Wraith Arc where I can't find it anywhere. Uh, not Wraith Arc, I'm sorry, Rebellion. It just does not exist anymore. Um, the Heroic Legend of Arslan, Volume 17. Again, this series is uh, an adaptation of a different story or of a story of the same name by a different author, um, but apparently uh, Arakawa does a big enough job where the author admits that they are pretty much adapting their own story. I'm looking through this art and I'm thinking I'm just going to start reading it lately. So, <laughs> but by that same note, I'm also already reading Shaman King again. So I don't know that I actually can do that. Uh, but Flowers is a very short story. I think it's around five volumes long. Um, and then there's a sequel series as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping that Kodansha, you know, continues to release more of the Shaman King um, sequels and one shots. There's X Loss, which they haven't announced as well, which looks like the most um, what's the word for it? interesting one uh, or Marcos, I think it might be called that, you know, those series look great. Um, I heard Flowers mix things about it, but X Laws or Marcos, I've heard just nothing but great things. So really hopeful to get more of them series, more of those series in. Uh, fingers crossed they make it physical. If not, someone will make it physical. <laughs> Saga of Tanya the Evil. I really just picked this up so that way I could read more of Tanya. Um, but, you know, uh, you can see here that Tanya, <laughs> the manga, <laughs> wow, that may as well be an, a light novel. Holy shit. That's a glossary just in between chapters. But, I mean, there is a lot of text in here. This series is really good. It, it showcases war and magic quite well. You can see that there are a ton of just like pure art pages. Strongly recommend checking out this series if you like the anime. If you're not sure about it, check out the anime. It's a really cool series. Yokai Watch very much the opposite of Tanya the Evil, a very lighthearted, jokey kind of a series. I really enjoyed the games when they were coming out in English. I wish the fourth one came here. If you never played them and you have a Steam Deck, I definitely would recommend checking them out. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all to be said here about that. I'm pretty sure that these are 
adapted from the games, but I'm not sure if they are even. Uh, I think there are filler series and filler like episodes in here as well, and filler stories. It says original concept uh, and supervision by level five, so I believe that's code for they're doing their own thing here, guys. <laughs> uh, Oshi no Ko, uh, pretty much a gynecologist, is reincarnated as a pop star's uh, child, her son. Uh, he was stalking her, and now, not now he's her child. So that's an interesting kind of a twist. Uh, apparently it gets pretty dark and pretty crazy, so excited to read through it. And lastly, Death Note All-in-One. Again, no real interest in opening this because I am never going to read it in this format. I have the all-black editions as well as the singles. Either one of those is a much better way to read this, but if you're on a budget, this would be the only reason I would get it. I would be afraid to crack that spine, but apparently people have said it's no problem. I don't know how much I buy of that, but uh, that's what they say. So, wow, that was a long one in my opinion um but that is it uh let me know what you guys thought of this haul what are you guys the most excited to hear my thoughts on um or what is something that you're excited to read because there's a lot i was backed up from kodan of oh my god from right stuff i think during their um their their administrative changes is they they got delayed on some packages um so i have like three more boxes coming in from right stuff so hopefully they get here soon they're going to include some of my um, later April pre-orders as well as my uh, mid-May pre-orders. So that should be pretty exciting. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.